Hi, what's going on? Oh my gosh, I am so happy to be recording again. I missed a day and so I just feel like there's so much energy built up in me um, and like excitement to want to get back to filming and sharing my journey with y'all. So I've been getting some really great feedback from people watching my video and I thank you so much. Um, it truly does mean the world to me and again my intention is to share my journey and my process through healing my skin and um, it's not just my skin it's my life it's my mental and emotional um, well-being as well and when I really think back on it I I see the connection between where I go into the depressed bouts of my life and when my skin is not happy and when my health is not happy and on point, it's all, it's all linked. It's all woven together. So <clears throat> I'm so excited. I'm on day six and if you're just joining, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I am filming and documenting my journey through healing my hormonal and I say hormonal acne because you will hear from me time and time again that what I'm healing is not due to my hormones well it is my hormones are off whack but why that's the big question. So I am a why asker. I love asking why. I love diving in deep. I love understanding the depths of what's going on the surface because I know that it's never what's going on the surface. The surface is what's a symptom and that's what's showing us that there's something wrong going on deeper. So that's what this process is. That's what my journey is. And if you're somebody who also likes going deep and somebody who is also on a journey of healing, whether that be acne, skin problems, uh, such as eczema or psoriasis, uh, depression, anxiety, autoimmune disease, hormonal issues, hmm, really anything chronic that you are just, you've been suffering with and you or somebody who doesn't want to go the conventional way and go take a bunch of medications or prescriptions or if you're somebody who has taken those and it hasn't really been working for you I am so happy you found my channel and I'm so happy to be sharing my journey and my message with you because my journey and my message is a holistic route it is going to the root cause so that we can not just pluck the weed from the earth we can actually go down and dig up the root and extract the whole problem itself. So today I would love to talk about something that I experienced um, when I first went to my naturopathic doctor a few weeks ago, well, let's say a month ago. Um, and I am super grateful that I have been seeing a naturopathic doctor and I am super grateful that she has been so supportive. Um, and one of the things that she suggested, which I was fully on board with as well, is go on um, a high probiotic diet. And she suggested what, needs, what I need to start healing is my gut. And I, again, I agreed. I thought, yes, that's right. My gut, my gut is way off. My microflora is low. You know, I'm not digesting properly or I'm not absorbing properly. And my, um, my bacteria in my gut is low. So yeah, totally. I'm going to get on all the probiotics, you know? So I went home and I made a big batch of kimchi. Look, I love these foods. I love fermented foods. I think they have such great healing properties. But what I found for myself was that that was like, it was like shocking 
it was almost stimulating the virus and the bacteria in my body and sending it in hyperdrive. So what happened was I went home and I made this kefir, or sorry, kimchi, <clears throat> and I was eating it every morning and drinking the brine, which I thought this would be great. A couple days later, I started getting this really um, bad fungal rash on my nose. And I was like, all right, sometimes with healing, things come up, that's how we heal, right? The healing process isn't, is, is not pretty. <laughs> we go through, you know, we have to get all the crud and all the toxins out and the only way to do that is through our skin or through our bowels. Um, so I'm well aware and I knew to expect something of that, but it just got worse and worse. So I was wondering and I questioned myself, uh, something's gotta be off, why is this happening? This is what happened. It was like spiking up the bacteria levels in my body and my body just could not process that quick. So the healing process takes time. And it's my belief that Americans are so sick and we continually to we continually get worse and worse right? The growing rate of obesity is skyrocketing. The growing rate of depression is crazy. The amount of humans and adults and children who are prescribed antidepressants is, I, it's sad. It's, it's sad to me. And it's my belief, just like I'm sharing this story and my experience, that we're becoming a society that wants instant gratification and pleasure and so this process takes time healing takes time and I'm telling you if you are somebody who is sick or has symptoms or has some sort of um, illness or chronic illness this has been a long time building so it's gonna take a while and it's gonna take time, it's gonna take love and compassion and patience to go through what you need to go through to purify and cleanse your body, to get it back to what it really needs so that it can become the most sustainable, eco-sustainable organism of you, right? So. I think my my story, my soapbox for today is going to really preach patience. How about that? Today I'm talking about patience. So I was talking about this with a coworker today too. Um how I said, you know, I'm I'm eating this that and the other and I'm not eating this that and the other and he made a comment and I said, well, he goes, that doesn't sound very easy. And I go, well, what is easy anyways? And he said, well, easy is going to eat whatever you want and whatever you feel like whenever you want. And I was like, yes, that is easy. But what is not easy from the consequences of that is the chronic debilitation, the illness, the migraines, the fatigue, the irritable bowel syndrome, the SIBO, all of these things that are coming from that instant gratification. So I invite you to really meditate. Put your hand on your heart and go inward and ask yourself, what kind of life do you truly wanna live? Because you get to decide and Every decision is your choice. Everything that you put in your mouth is your choice. Everything that you buy is your choice, right? And it's tough, yes, it's tough to go out into a society and to walk into a, a buffet line and smell all these foods and see all these people walking down with their plates full of food 
and know that that I can't, I not, I choose not to eat any of that on that line. But what is the consequence of me not eating that? That is my health, that is my life, that is my vitality. When I'm 70 years old, will I thank myself? I think, hell yeah. I will thank myself because I will feel and be so vibrant and full of energy and life and vitality and, and health. And no, it's not easy. But what does the word easy mean anyways, right? So yes, I brought my juicer with me. Yes, I had to pr prepare and pack and plan and I'm cautious of what I eat and what I don't eat. I plan and regimate, regimate, is that a word? I'm gonna use it. I regimate myself through the day to make sure I'm taking my tinctures and giving my body what it needs. Because in time, once I get back to that calibration of what my body already can do by itself, See, that's the thing is our bodies are constantly working for us. Our bodies are constantly loving us unconditionally and doing the best they can with what they have. So wouldn't you want to give your body what it needs so that it can operate at its optimum potential? It's like our cars. We give our cars more love and attention than our bodies. Why is that? Why do we do that? So this is my message and I love it. <laughs> Yo, here I am sharing my message. So thank you for, cho for choosing to watch this video. Thank you for choosing your health. And I know it's emotional. <laughs> our health and our food is directly related to emotion. And I know that because cleansing and healing is an emotional process. You tell somebody that they're gonna have to drink juice for three days, holy crap, watch their reaction. It's emotional. And all that emotion is lying in our bodies and it's attached to foods, foods that aren't supporting us. So let's get emotional and let's release what's no longer serving us. And if you are on this bandwagon and are on this train and just want some support or guidance, I would love to give you some tips and share with you what's been easy for me, what hasn't been easy, my process, tips, you know, whatever. So that's gonna be it today. I feel like that was an awesome video and went a little bit longer, but hopefully you watched all the way through and if you're still here, high five. Ah, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. So until tomorrow, thank you so much and blessings to your journey and may your healing process be filled with ease and grace.